Hey y'all, uh, my name's Hannah. Uh, I'm a software engineer at Protocol Labs, and I'm here to tell you today about a new IPFS implementation um, called Lassie. Um, so Lassie is an IPFS implementation in Go, just like Kubo. Uh, a couple years ago, we renamed uh, Go IPFS to Kubo, and like magic, uh, and Juan's intention, about a year later, we have a new implementation in Go. Um, but where, so Kubo, as Steve said, is like the super versatile Swiss army knife of implementations. Lassie is designed to be like a scalpel. And uh, by that, I mean we started with a single goal and built it from the ground up. We want to help you get your data. Um, we're building Lassie because we believe that downloading your data from IPFS should just work. Basically, we have a, a guiding saying, which is like, if you want your data, just tell Lassie to fetch it. Um, what does this actually mean? So as IPFS networks have grown, um, we started to see like a proliferation of transfer protocols. Um, but for your average person, your average user, like. What is a transfer protocol? Do they care? Do, does anyone who goes to a website today think, am I, well, I guess some people might still use FTP as opposed to HTTP, but like for the vast majority of people, they don't care. They're just thinking, get my stuff. Um, and so um, we in Lassie attempt to speak multiple protocols. Today, Lassie already supports both BitSwap and GraphSync. And within the next month or two, um, we're going to be adding a trustless HTTP uh, protocol transport. Um, it's sort of, and it'll be sort of modeled after the gateway. Um, maybe in the future, we might want to add some additional cutting edge protocols, um, such as the ones you may hear about um, from IRO or maybe uh, Fission's uh, carpool. We're, we're gonna be, as new protocols appear, Lassie is going to keep up with them. So, um, oh, and of course I forgot that I have bullet points on my slides. So, <laughs> um, cool, yeah. So another thing about Lassie is we, 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 we sort of have identified that when people go looking for their data, they don't want to worry about how to find it. Um, they just want the data back. Um, so in Lassie, um, we are we find your data for you. Um, and that means uh, we speak to both the IPFS DHT, um, but we also speak to the Filecoin network. So we can retrieve content from Filecoin. And this is all done through IPNI, the network indexer. It actually handles most of this for us. Um, we can speak to the, to the DHT, the storage provider network. We can even track down um, some providers uh, that don't put their content in the DHT, but tisk tisk, um, <laughs> don't, you should put your content either in the DHT or even better, put it in the network indexer. Um, and we'll keep adding new and better ways to find data as time goes on. So how do you use Lassie? Um, from the start, we've designed Lassie with three core use cases that we are, we are attempting to enable. Um, the first way to use Lassie is simply as a command line executable. Um, you can download it as uh, already compiled and ready to go and run it immediately to fetch data. Um, it's, we've sort of designed it like, like uh, most Unix commands to be pipeable and composable, and I'll demo that in a moment. Um, the second way to use Lassie is as a lightweight HTTP gateway uh, to IPFS and Filecoin. The Lassie server um, exposes a trustless HTTP gateway interface, um, and that, that serves car files to you. Um, Lassie does go beyond the trustless HTTP gateway spec to support full querying and uh, via pathing and depth parameters. Uh, and we are in the process of writing a proposal back to the spec through the IPP IP, IP process so that you know, other implementations can implement some of the querying tools that we've, that we've put in. Um, finally, we've designed Lassie from the start to work as a library um, that you can easily incorporate into your Go application. We want developers to use Lassie seamlessly to add retrieval from IPFS and Filecoin to your projects. Um, essentially, we see this as the superpower of Lassie. If you have a Go, Go application and you wanna be able to get content from IPFS and Filecoin, you can just plug in Lassie and get that content. Um, and we would love to partner with other teams in helping you to integrate Lassie into your systems. 
So there are a couple things that Lassie does not do, um, and this is somewhat intentional. Lassie's lightweight, and being lightweight means you have to make some cuts. Um, and our sole goal is to retrieve data, so there's some stuff that gets left out. Specifically, we don't store blocks. We have no block store in Lassie. We just return car files to you and let you manage your data and decide what you want to do with them. Um, because we don't store data, that means we also don't announce to DHC. This is a retrieval client. Um, it is not uh, designed to be a server node you run on the IPFS network to provide data to the network. And Lassie is, 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 is through and through a client um, and so we do our best to stay almost completely stateless. Um, we hold a little bit of information that helps us retrieve data uh, a little faster when we're running as an HTTP server, but beyond that, there's no config file on your hard drive. There's no, <laughs> there's nothing, anything, any knobs you want to turn are done through environment variables, and there aren't as many of them as in Kubo. Um, we, we've done all this for us to keep us focused. Um, we want to work on getting retrieval of data right, and so we're, not, we're trying to keep our feature set intentionally limited. So let's take a quick look. We're going to look at a quick demo of Lassie in action. Um, and as I said before, uh, we have a command line, and that command line can pipe its output to, to other commands. So here we're going to fetch a SID, uh, pipe the output of that uh, of fetching that SID to the car tool, uh, and we're gonna use the car tool to convert it from a car file to a flat file, and then we're gonna pipe that output again into uh, FFmpeg and see if it'll play it as a movie. Let's see if this works. Okay. There we go. There's a couple extra things in here, but you can see we're piping to car, we're piping to FFmpeg, and immediately you automatically get a video playing on your screen, so yeah. Exciting. Um, let's, uh, yeah, <laughs> and now it's a party. Uh, let's see if we can get to the next slide before the, the, everyone starts to dance. All right. <laughs> so, yay. Cool. So, Lassie is a new tool and it's in development, but it's not a prototype. We've already built it out a fair amount, um, and it is already the primary tool that powers cache misses um, in the Saturn network. And so through the Rhea project that Will spoke, Will spoke about earlier, um, where all of your gateway requests are ultimately going to be filtered through the Saturn network, they're ultimately going to be fetched with Lassie. We are already in testing downloading about 140 million SIDs uh, through Lassie each week. So it's definitely getting used. Um, we're increasingly recommending Lassie as the easiest way to download your data from Filecoin. Uh, funny thing about Lassie is that we originally started as simply a tool to retrieve from Filecoin, but we realized along the way that these networks aren't that different and you should just be able to get, get data from everywhere. Um, and we have a full team focused on ironing out <laughs> The, the remaining bugs and trying to improve performance. We're invested for the long term. Uh, so if you want to integrate Lassie into your project, I would say maybe go for it. Um, the only area we have a little bit of work to do is in our documentation, um, and that is going to also be improving soon. <laughs> cool. If you want to hear more about Lassie, come to the data transfer track. Uh, we're going to be doing, that starts right after this morning's keynote, we're going to be doing a deep dive into the software architecture and how we want it to evolve over time. Alternatively, you can come find me uh, at the conference. I'd love to chat with you and how Lassie can benefit your IPFS project. Also, I think, is Kyle here? Not yet. Uh, one of the other uh, team members, Kyle, will be here. Um, you can also talk to him. Uh, and a special thank you to Kyle Huntsman and Rod Bag, who have put in so much work into uh, over the last few months in getting Lassie's first iteration out the gate. Um, the awesome team members. Um, finally, use it. Give us feedback. Uh, you can file a GitHub issue. Uh, you can hit us up on Slack. You can complain about us on Twitter. You know the whole drill. Um, and that's it. Thank you so much. Cool.